His trial resulted in a book entitled Double Jeopardy. In 1995, Bob Hill, a journalist, published a book entitled Double Jeopardy, which was based around Ignito's case and how Double Jeopardy doesn't always protect the innocent from being tried twice for a crime, but it can result in the guilty getting away. The book turned out to become a bestseller. The evidence gathered through Shore's wire did not help during the trial. Even though Shore was an accomplice, she got off with a lesser sentence due to her cooperation in the investigation. She agreed to wear a wire while speaking to Ignato. During their conversation, she got Ignato to talk about the murder saying that place we dug is not shallow. Beside that one area right by where that site is does not have any trees by it. Police believed they had Ignato right where they wanted him, but it proved to be false. As to the site that they spoke of, Ignato's defense team argued Ignato was inaudible at times and that he didn't say site, but rather safe. The defense suggested that Ignato was talking about a safe that he and Shore had buried together. When police found photographic evidence, they couldn't charge Ignato due to double jeopardy. He was acquitted due to lack of evidence. He was acquitted due to lack of evidence. The crime was premeditated. The crime was premeditated. Photos were taken during the crime. Photos were taken during the crime. He used his ex-girlfriend to assist him. He used his ex-girlfriend to assist him. Schieffer was tortured before her death. Schieffer was tortured before her death. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.